after the RTG going 17 and 3 and getting rank 1, I knew something had to change. I didn't want to go blow the whole team up and raid sell everybody. I just had to make a few adjustments to make sure this team got us to rank 2 or rank 1, especially the 20 and 0. We need that. So with that being said, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A9 Skills. Welcome back to the Road for Champions RTG Edition, where we are going to make insane changes and make this team go from amazing to super amazing. Let's get into it. I want you guys to know that every single card that I'm going to list on the market right now in front of your face is not because they were bad or terrible. The only card that I really wanted to get rid of was Walker. I, I personally don't like Walker at right back because I just felt that he took a lot of bad touches and I hated his first touch. And a right back's not supposed to have great first touch. It's supposed to be a good defender. But I need to be able to dribble with my right back, right? So every player that you all see, you see that leave right now, Walker, Ali Sun, and the one and only uh, uh, Varane. All of them leaving is going to get us to over 400K, okay? Before I buy this next player you're about to see me buy, I was at 390K, but right when I buy him, Varane sells, and we're going to be at 408,000 coins after buying a Rojo because Varane sold, all right? So with that being said, a Rojo's coming in for Varane, not because a Rojo is better than Varane. I know a Rojo can do exactly what Varane does, right? They're like the same card. The only difference is I just want to get away from Walker. H how do you get away from Walker? Well, the way to do it is to first pick up a Rojo. That was the first move, right? And then I wanted to go get these two American girls. One goes by the name of Rodman, and one goes by the name of Swanson. I hope I said that right. And you're probably thinking, okay, what did Diaby do and Griezmann do to get the boot and you go with these girls? Nothing. These girls are just absolutely, unbelievably amazing at left stick dribbling in R1. And then I pick up Dest. And I know you're going to be like, Scales, how you done? Lost the plot, bro. There's no way you're dropping Walker for Dest. Now, is Dest better than Walker? No shot. But... He can dribble and he can R1 better than Walker. The only problem is he's a high low, which scares me. Now I need an icon to make the chemistry work. And that's when I decide if I get Casillas, which is, I want it check, but if I get Casillas, Lorente goes to full chem and the only person off chem is gonna be messy here because this year icons give a point or a chem to everybody. So this is our new starting 11, right? This is the new team we got. Oh no, Dest is off chem as well. Sorry, I forgot about that. This is the new team we have. It's Beasley, Arrojo, Conde, Dest, with Casillas in net. Our first icon on the RTG. And it's an expensive icon, and it's a goalie, which is not fun, but I felt this is what's gonna take us from, we got ranked two the first weekend, league 18 and two, then we went to 17 and three, and I believe this is what's gonna take us to the 19 and one. And I'm gonna explain why about everything, because Antoine Griezmann, one of the most overpowered players in the, car, in the game, he's untradeable, he's still on our bench, we're gonna use him a lot, but he's gone. And he's gone because not because he did something wrong. Trust me. Uh-uh. Diaby, still one of my favorite wingers in the game. He didn't do nothing wrong. Varane, still one of my favorite center backs in the game. He didn't do nothing wrong. Walker, I didn't like too much. He did something wrong. I had to get rid of him. So with all of that being said, okay, so skills, if they didn't do nothing wrong, why are they gone? Because Swanson and Rodman bring some of the best wing play that I've seen in this game. The way that Rodman, which is going to be like a 40K, 50K car, I think I bought her for like 40K. I bought her during the weekend league. When I went 73, I, bought, I was subbing her in off the bench. So I bought her during the weekend league, right? Um, and then Swanson was 11K. She was real cheap. But Rodman was bought during the weekend league, and I, I started seeing her dribbling, right? And I was like, wow, man, th this girl moves like a fast messy, and her finishing is outstanding. And I knew instantly from playing with her in the 17-3 and three run that I needed to have a team with her in it and the only way i could do it is by having dest and having swanson or someone else that's american to go to give her chemistry so as i'm playing these qualifier games i want you to pay attention to the core of the team the core of the team is still the same conde still my favorite center back in the game rodri's still here messi's still here what i wanted to do was build a team where going into last weekend league we had antoine griezmann who's super overpowered and we had messi and we were in a four triple two, but think about what I just said to you, two players with 80 pace. So when we played against somebody with five back or somebody with a really, really park the bus type of tactics, we could not break in, bro. We were just too slow to break in. So I wanted to have one slow player, Messi. And Messi's not even slow when you are one, but let's just say for the sake of the video, 80, 80 pace is kind of slow. That's our slow player, Messi. Beside Messi's Rodrigo, who all of you know is crazy. And I want to take a second really quickly to talk about Rodrigo. If you have not done his SBC, I never like to tell people to go do SBCs. For this. Rodrigo, you will regret. If he if he disappears and you don't do him, you will regret doing it, not doing this card. This card is amazing. The way he dribbles, the way he R1s, the skill moves, his finishing, everything about Rodrigo is so brilliant. He's so good. He's so fantastic that I'm so glad I did him. Everyone I hear talk about him loves him. I haven't heard anyone say that they wish they didn't do him. 
So what I'm trying to tell you is before he disappear, disappears, make sure that, you know, you really think twice before you don't do this card because yes, he's a little bit pricey, but his links and his ability is incredible. Now, going back to what I was saying, we have Rodrigo beside Messi now at the striker position. Rodrigo is very fast, Messi not so much. But then we have Rodman, okay, and Swanson on the wings. 90 pace players, rapid players, unbelievable left stick. Both of them have skill moves. Both of them ha ha have good finishing. Both of them have amazing R1 dribbling. And I was like, yeah, now I feel like when someone's playing park the bus on us, we can counterattack them nasty and really, really showcase what our team can do, right? In the midfield, I kept it the same. Beasley's still a medium high, so he's going to be in the middle of the park still. And then we have the one and only... Um, uh, 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 Modric beside him. All right. Boom. Perfect. Also, by the way, Modric's price went up. I told you guys that I wasn't going to sell Modric when I packed him in rank one reward, rank two rewards. His price is rising already. I think we got him for free, obviously, because we packed him. His price at one point was like 220, and now he's at three, 315 or something like that. What a finish from my boy Kubo, who also comes in and gets subbed in a lot. We'll talk about that in a minute. Our midfield, Modric and Beasley in the back, it's going to be Dest. It's going to be Conde and Arrojo, and it's going to be, uh, on the other side, Lorente. But at halftime, or if the game's going bad, I sub out Lorente for our untradeable Theo Hernandez, who you guys know we packed recently. Untradeable Theo Hernandez comes off the bench for Lorente. Until I figure out that, because I want to play Beasley left back, but Beasley's a medium high. If I can find a really good midfielder, I might throw Beasley left back, even though he's a medium high. He won't really get that involved for us, but I might do it. We'll see how that all plays out. But as I'm playing these qualifiers, you're seeing a team that's really, really aggressive going forward. The crazy amount of finesse shots that we're playing with, the crazy speed, and you're seeing this Rodman girl kind of just take over, right? Like, this was always Messi and Griezmann's team, and this Rodman girl, I mean, based off the three games you're seeing, she's really taking over. Everything's going, the, the game's flowing through her, and she's bringing the speed and everything to the table, and then once she brings her speed and everything to the table, we switch it off, and we're like, all right, Messi, now you finish it off. Get Messi. What I'm trying to do is get Messi into places to succeed. If I can get the ball to Messi while he's in the box, he could just left stick dribble and make something happen. And that's kind of the game plan, man. Abuse and abuse Swanson and, and Rodman down the wing for, for then Rod, Rodrigo and Messi to just do what they do. And as you watch this gameplay, pay, pay, pay attention, man. Pay attention to how great, how great Rodrigo is. How many goals this guy's scoring for me. One other thing I do at halftime, I also sub out Swanson and I bring in Kubo. All right, so I sub out Swanson, I bring in Kubo, and then, it, and then my attack goes to Kubo, Rodrigo, Messi, and, 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 and Rodman. That's what my attack is. And then Theo Hernandez will go left back. And that's kind of how I've been kind of running the team as of right now. And, um, and, and it's, been, it's been working really well. Right here, lads, we're going to unlock the 85 times 2. I am about to be fully complete on this account with uh, seasons, completely done, which is wild um, because we ran through that very quickly. But as you guys know, I'm, I'm trying super hard to just make sure I keep this game, this team above the curve and, and with the curve of the game. Um, we're gonna get a double walkout here. Arsenal English girl, 87 overall. I have a question for y'all in just a minute. I'm gonna, after I show you gameplay, more gameplay, I have a question. I wanna go back with you to look at the team and I want you to let me know if I should invest in a card. We're gonna talk about that in just one minute. I got an 88 rated card and an 87 rated card. And it's making me start thinking to myself, should I complete the hero pack. Y'all let me know in the comments down below. Should we complete the hero pack? Because now we just got extra fodder. Um, we get matched up here against Icon team. Pretty darn nice team, man. Icons everywhere. And it's time for Messi and Rodman and, 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 and Swanson and Rodrigo to really show what they bring to the table. Through ball for Messi, Rodman, step over, Rodman in there like swimwear. Lads, the, the, the speed boost with her, the left stick with her, the R1 with her, she's fantastic. She's amazing, man. I'm going to make this guy rage quit in the first play of the game. Like, when I tell you Rodman is crazy, I'm not saying that just to say it. This is a this is what I thought would help the team. Now, I do want to tell you guys that, do I wish I could go get Zambrota right back and drop Dest? Of course. Of course. Of course. I don't have, Do I want to run Dest? Dest seems okay so far based off the couple games I've played. Is he going to get us exposed throughout the weekend league? Potentially, but Walker was getting me exposed. Every time I would play it to him, his first touch was so bad, and I, it would always mess up my counterattacks, right? But at the end of the day, Dest is, I mean, look at him right there. Wins the ball back, getting us forward as quickly as possible, right? But will he expose me? Maybe. I wish I could go out and get Zambrota right back or, or Zanetti right back and not have to deal with Dest. But right now, I, I just thought, okay, two weekend leagues of, of Varane, two weekend leagues of Walker. It's time to move on. It's time, it's time to see what's what's next, right? Because obviously, we, we, we're 18 and 2 week one and 17 and 3, so we took a step backwards. So it's time for us to see... You know, because we, we did the, the, the Oshalala got us, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the big finish, the 18 and one. 
or the 18 and two. Um, was it Messi that took us backwards? I don't think so. Either way, real quick, let's stop the gameplay. I want to take you real quick to the team to show you some things. So I want to talk to you about a few things. All right. So the first thing is. I do obviously want to show you how the team lines up, right? But I can't do that yet because there's something I want to talk to you about. As we stand right now, I have a hundred, uh, I want to say 150,000 coins, so somewhere around that, 154,000 coins, all right? 154,000 coins, season's complete as well. We'll have more packs in the next episode. Um, so we're at 150,000 coins and there's a girl that goes by the name of Sophia Smith. I said that right? Yeah, Sophia Smith, okay? Now, Sophia Smith on the market right now is going for about 130 it looks like 120 ish 130 120 somewhere in the 120 130 range all right we have enough now i can easily do this and then swing rodrigo over what does sophia smith give us sophia smith gives us five star weak foot which is mad uh four star weak foot uh, four star skills which is crazy she also gives us 93 pace and 85 shooting which is wild as well and her play styles are the great this i love this badge it's the same badge that messi has the same badge that rodman has we also get flair we also get first touch we also get trickster and we get quick step now the problem is she gives us nothing in the shooting or the scoring range. But if we're going to use her on the wing, is she better than Swanson? So I kind of want you guys to compare Swanson. Now, I want to show you two things really quickly. Rodman, I picked up for 32,000 coins, okay? And she has the finesse shot trait. She has the gold quick badge. And then all of these amazing badges right here, as you guys can see. She doesn't have the, tech, the technical one, but she moves unbelievable. Um, but anyway, Swanson, I picked up for 11K, I'm pretty sure. 13K. And um, as you guys can see, she has a couple badges, but also has the finesse shot badge just like uh, Rodman does. Okay. So Smith is not going to give us that. Who do you think is a better card? Now, Smith is cheaper than Swanson. Um, she has better finishing. She has less passing. She has higher dribbling um, and she has more physical, but she does not have um, better passing. Swanson has better passing. So if we're going to run Smith on the wing, who do you think is a better player? And this is a decision that I really want to make with you guys because I am... I would be very excited to bring Swanson into the team, if I'm being honest with you. Swanson looks like a fantastic card all around. Again, a five-star weak foot's incredible. Four-star skills, um, high medium. She's only 5'5". Five five. Swanson is 5'4", so she's a little bit taller. Rodman is 5'6", so Rodman's taller than both of them. Um, so she does look remarkable, right? Everything about this card looks pretty darn good. Agility's 84 and the balance is 86. Swanson's is 82 and 88. Um, you know what I'm saying? Acceleration on, is 92 and 93 for Swanson. And then for Smith, it's 92, 93. Very, very similar cards. This one has how much finishing? The finishing on this card is 88 and the finishing on Swanson is 83. Um, so that's kind of where the difference comes in. Smith is a better finisher. This Rodman card, which I think would ma I imagine would be better than both of them, um, is just this card is just crazy. It doesn't have the finishing that um, that that Smith has, but this card's crazy. So, would you guys throw down 120k? Yes or no? I guess that's the, the, the ultimate question. Would you guys throw down 120k for Sophia Smith, or would you say nah, nah, no point, no point? Just stay with Swanson. You're fine with Swanson. No, no need to do that. The team is good where it's at. Um, because honestly, lads, I, I, I personally don't know. Sophia Smith looks mad, and I think she would be a huge upgrade. I just don't know if I should do it. The four triple two, these are the custom tactics I use. And as I was telling you guys, Swanson and Rodman's on the wing, and then you have yourself Messi and Rodrigo up top. Messi on this side so he could do the Travella shots inside. Um, and then you have Lorente and Des on the wing, but I bring in Theo Hernandez for the left side, left back position. And um, that's kind of how the team has cooked. Do I like Casillas? I mean, honestly, bros, I have like six games with him and I haven't lost. But at the end of the day, this much money for a goalkeeper is just rigged. I hate it. But without him, Lorente would be on no chemistry. Smith, you know what I'm saying? Like a bunch of, I could have went check, and, but then I have three players off cam. Messi's off cam, Lorente's off cam, and Dest is off cam. So I felt like, okay, that's, that's not really a smart move, you know? So I kind of went with Casillas so that way everyone is kind of on a decent cam but if you guys can see any flaws in the team please let me know if i should drop lorente right like oh man like i i wish i could have like someone like portel uh, i mean uh, uh, alexia right here in this spot right and then run beasley left back i wish i could have that but I, but, but i can't lads it's not something that's in, in our disposal it's not something that we can do you know so i personally think that this team improved um, I think that Dest is a better first touch. He has a better first touch than Walker did. Walker's a way better defender, but Dest, it can dribble really nice. So if we want to attack, which we do with our right back, that's really good. 
Arrojo and Conde are both amazing players. I love them. Uh, do I think Casillas and Alisson is better? I think all goalies stink, if I'm being honest. But I think our attack got a lot faster. Diaby was obviously stupid fast, but when you had Griezmann and Messi both up top at the nine, we we, we, we were lacking a lot. Now we have a player with 90 pace beside Messi, four-star, four-star, and dude has 26 games, 19 goals, two assists. He's amazing. So, guys, let me know what you guys think, man. Do you think I'm making the right decision? Should I go pick up Sophia Smith, or do you think we don't need her? Please let me know in the comments down below, man. It'll be a big help. Um, I appreciate you guys watching hopefully i could drop a rank one in the upcoming weekend league i'm gonna play a bunch of elite gameplay so get ready to watch some elite gameplay coming your way in the next episode make sure to smash a big old thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it love you guys i appreciate you i'm gonna try to go 10 and on qualifiers i think i need three more wins or something like that and hopefully get the 100k pack so anyways guys i love you guys i appreciate y'all watching big thumbs up subscribe turn your bell on i will catch you tomorrow for another episode of rtg all right booyah we out of here thanks for watching lads